Hello, brothers and sisters. I am Ogre Six, and well, see, there's this cat. She is not my cat. She's nobody's cat but her own. She just kind of showed up one day, and then just kind of never went away. Her name, and so far as it makes sense to think of her having a name, is Jeannie. But I usually call her the Pretty Hate Machine. She is beautiful, but must have been badly misused at some point in her past. Though I've tried to treat her gently, and she has become slightly more personable over the years, she is still very wild. All fear and ferocity. When people meet her for the first time, I warn them, but I do try to time the warning so that I say, Careful, she bites. Just before they say, Ow! Hey! I've got to entertain myself somehow. She is not shy when she wants something. When she's hungry, she sits by her bowl and mews at me. If I don't pay attention, she goes to plan B, which is to charge down the hall and take some skin off my leg, then run back to her bowl and mew some more. She is mostly an outdoor cat, and for her benefit, I usually leave a window open. But if it's cold and all the windows are shut, she behaves this same way when she wants to go out, only instead of running to her bowl, she runs to the window. But when she first came round, sometimes she did it for no obvious reason. One night, I finally understood. We were living in a rat trap in Four and a Half Alley in Huntington, West Virginia. It had been a hot day, but rain had come with the evening, and it was cool and pleasant, so I just left the door standing open. She kept attacking, and then running to the open door, and staring back at me and mewing. And after a bit, I had this sudden flash of insight. She wanted me to turn off the rain for her. I suppose that, to her, I appear to move in mysterious ways. After all, I can make it light or dark, I can make it hot or cold. I conjure her food, as far as she can tell, out of thin air, like manna from heaven. I can even turn the rain on and off inside the apartment, so why wouldn't I be able to turn it on and off outside? So she sat, hunched in the doorway, looking out at the lot and longing to go play, and occasionally turning to me and saying, Can't you do something about this? I've got important business out there. It was pretty cute, but a little bit sad, too. I couldn't help her, but she thought I could and just wouldn't and it kind of broke my heart a little bit. She's older and wiser now, and has largely reconciled herself to the fact that, hey, sometimes it just rains. But now and then, on rainy nights, I still get the mewing and the sad look. I don't need metaphors for powerlessness in my life. I've got plenty of the real thing. I can't turn off the rain any more than I can cause an earthquake or trigger a nuclear meltdown. In that respect... I am precisely godlike.